Estrogen refers to the main female sex hormone in the body. There are actually three types of estrogens. Estro, estradiol, and estriol. The strongest, most abundant, and therefore the most important is estradiol. And this is the one that is checked in the blood when necessary. For simplicity, we shall just refer to estrogen to include all three. The other female sex hormone is progesterone. It is required for fertility and it balances many of the effects of estrogen. Men also require a little bit of these female hormones, just as women require a little bit of the male sex hormone, testosterone. Estrogen is required by females during all stages of life. At puberty, its production surges and it promotes the development and maturity of the sexual organs, that is the breast, ovaries, uterus, vagina and vulva, and initiates pubic hair growth and menstruation. After puberty, estrogen causes the female sex organs to continue to mature and also makes the young girl become more aware of her femininity and sexuality. Once menstruation is established, she is ready to become pregnant, give birth and become a mother. Thereafter, estrogen helps to maintain the health, femininity and fertility of the young woman until she reaches menopause at about 50 years of age. The organs that depend a lot on estrogen are the brain, the heart, the skin, the bones and the sex organs of course. In a woman, it is estrogen that ensures the, de the development and maturity of the female organs, maintains the femininity and fertility, and helps maintain the health of other organs as well. During the prime fertile phase of their lives, that is, between the ages of about 20 to 35, some women will have problems of hormonal imbalance, that is, having too little or too much estrogen or too little progesterone. This may be associated with irregular or abnormal periods, fibroids, cysts, endometriosis, subfertility, or infertility. After age 35, the imbalance may worsen, and after 40, her estrogen level may start to decline. The periods may become irregular or abnormal as she approaches menopause until it completely stops when she becomes menopausal at around age 50 to 51. The range is from 45 to 55 years old. Estrogen also regulates food intake, body weight, glucose and cholesterol metabolism, and insulin sensitivity. Therefore, the level of estrogen helps determine a woman's overall health, weight, and body shape as well. Low estrogen tends to lead to weight gain and the accumulation of visceral fat, and being overweight or obese can increase the risk of diabetes, stroke, heart disease, and many other health problems. An adult woman with low estrogen may have the following symptoms. Irregular or abnormal periods, subfertility or infertility, breast tenderness, poor concentration, low libido, fatigue, susceptibility to urinary infections, painful sex due to the lack of vaginal lubrication, and if the deficiency is severe, the low libido, fatigue, susceptibility to urinary infections, and vaginal dryness will be worse. In addition, she may experience hot flushes, night sweating, mood swings, depression or anxiety, insomnia, and headaches, also memory problems, dry and wrinkled skin, and she is also susceptible to fractures as low estrogen causes bone to become brittle and also susceptible to heart disease because estrogen is a powerful protector of the heart. Note that women rarely get heart attacks before menopause, while men start getting heart attacks in their 30s. The diseases and conditions that are associated with having low estrogen include puberty, the perimenopause and of course after menopause, excessive or intensive exercise, especially muscle building, eating disorders, hypopituitarism, hypogonadism, premature ovarian failure, Turner syndrome, and chronic kidney disease. Now, 
since estrogen plays a key role in the overall health and especially the sexual development and sexual health of a woman, it is important to help the body maintain healthy levels of it. This requires eating a healthy diet and leading a healthy lifestyle with sufficient exercise, sufficient sleep, managing stress well, not smoking, and not consuming too much alcohol, and maintaining a healthy weight and body shape. Some women may benefit from taking supplements or traditional medicines that contain plant estrogens, which may help complement their estrogen, especially if low estrogen is suspected. The plants rich in phytoestrogens include Kachip Fatima, Fenugreek, and Puriria merifica. Those with severe symptoms should seek medical advice, and if tests confirm serious estrogen deficiency, then hormone treatment may be required.